This is the hybrid technique for specimen extraction and anvil insertion in a laparoscopic low anterior resection for severe deep pelvic endometriosis. The patient is a 44 years old woman, a known case of severe endometriosis, multiparous with the previous cesarean section, and multiple laparoscopy in open surgeries before. She's presenting with severe dysmenorrhea responsive to Zoladex, deep dyspareunia and pain and exercise, especially vaginal pain from standing to sitting, and she was unresponsive to medical downregulation. MRI, the uterus has a normal size but loss of junctional zone with adenomyosis and also left ovarian endometriosis. There was no mentioning on the distance to the anal margin. Based on the decision made by multidisciplinary team, the patient was planned to receive laparoscopic hysterectomy and left salpingoophrectomy alongside with low anterior resection. The key steps consist of preserving both ureters, mobilizing sigmoid colon while preserving IMA, hysterectomy and left salpingoophrectomy, sectioning of the rectum at the middle rectal plane and extraction of whole specimen in a transvaginal fashion using notes technique, performing colorectal night griffin and stomosis, and forming a protective elostomy at the end. Here is the schematic of trochal placement based on the maximum ergonomic effectiveness for the best colorectal and gynecological performance. Well, we'll start with relatively normal anatomy. These are white scars around the edge of the tissue representing the site of previous inflammation. We can also see uterosacral ligament between uterine and rectum, which is commonly affected by endometriosis, along with pelvic pouch, which is also obliterated. We start the operation with visualizing and preserving the right and left ureters. Here we start the partial mesorectal dissection by incising the tall's fascia. Then we commenced with mobilizing of the superior rectum. During this step of the procedure, the uterine manipulator is being pushed upwards under the contralateral side to provide maximum visualization. Then the utero-ovarian ligament is dissected. Then, we transect the round ligament and separate the anterior and posterior leaves of the broad ligament in order to mobilize the bladder of the lower uterine segment. While we preserved the right ovary, we secured the uterine vessels and kept the dissection down to the cervical cup. Dissection of upper and middle rectum at the extraperitoneal plane below the pelvic brim and reaching to the pouch of Douglas. We 
perform the digital rectal examination to spot the best margin for the rectum resection at the level of middle rectum. While you can see the endometriosis nodules on rectum. After sectioning of the upper rectum by echelon charge, we commence to visualize and preserve inferior mesenteric artery and continue to dissect the sigmoid colon from the surrounding tissue. Isolating the inferior mesenteric artery. After separating the uterus and cervix from the vaginal apex, the uterus was pulled into the vagina and extracted. Then, we inserted a single port through the vagina and the dissected part of superior rectum and sigmoid colon were extracted and divided. An envil was double purse string sutured and introduced into the abdominal cavity in the transvaginal fashion. We finally performed an end to end night griffin anastomosis. The double bubble test was performed, and since it was doubtful, we formed a protective temporary elostomy. The postoperative course of the patient was uneventful. The patient was discharged with good general condition on the third day of postoperation, and the elostomy was reversed two months further.